Hi, I'm Jim Jubeck and welcome to this week's Quick Pick video. My Quick Pick this week is UNG, U.S. Natural Gas Fund. We're looking at natural gas at an 18-year high on the NYMEX. Uh, it closed for June futures. It closed at uh, $8.08 .08 per million BTUs. What we're looking at is a big, big surge, uh, and you don't have to look very far for, for the cause. It's, it's the war in the Ukraine, sanctions on Russian gas, uh, the continued uh, crunch in production uh, as uh, the Russian industry confronts the fact that its technology is really crappy, uh, and the refusal so far of U.S. natural gas shale producers to up production. Uh, they're staying pretty much solidly in the let's not do a lot more drilling camp that they were encouraged to stay in by Wall Street. So one of the things about this is that if you want to play this, and, and I've, been, I've been owning stocks in the oil and natural gas sector as a hedge against the Ukraine um, war. So I own ConocoPhillips. ConocoPhillips is an oil and natural gas producer. And, you know, it's not actually up today. It's uh, down uh, a little bit. Uh, and what we're seeing is a fairly big div divergence between natural gas prices and oil prices on a day when uh, natural gas was up 3%. Uh, West Texas Intermediate, the U.S. benchmark, was up only a tenth of a percent. So what we're seeing is, is not getting a big pop out of diversified uh, oil and natural gas producers. Let's look at another stock here in the sector. Uh, this is Pioneer Natural Resources. They came out recently with a huge, huge dividend. Uh, so the stock is actually up today, but it's up only about three quarters of a, of a percentage point. Uh, you're not, again, not getting the full effect of the natural gas price surge, which is why I would like to, and I'm gonna add uh, US Natural Gas Fund to, uh, my volatility portfolio um, because I think this is a relatively short-term play, uh, although longer than we might expect. And you can see this, this incredible rise here. Um, what we're seeing is that, is that um, stockpiles uh, of natural gas, uh, com companies and countries are trying to build them up again, um, but, we're, but with an idea to looking toward uh, potential problems in the fall, um, stock, stocks are still down below where they should be uh, if you compare it to other years. So we may not actually get a uh, collapse in prices when we get to, um, say, July or August, that we get less heating because what we're getting is a lot of, of building of inventories in a lot of countries uh, and companies looking to, to sort of lock in inventory so they have more gas which go into the fall when, when uh, seasonal demand spikes up. So that's the stock I'm going to buy. Uh, I'm looking for things to hedge against the general decline in the rest of the market. I think natural gas is one of them. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, uh, like it. Uh, if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get notification of when I'm doing more, please do so. Uh, if you want more of my stuff, posts, three portfolios, you can go to my free site, jubackpicks.com. Or if you want six portfolios, including the volatility portfolio that will have uh, U.S. natural gas in it, uh, you go to my paid site, that's jubackam.com, links to all that stuff down below. Thanks very much for watching.